Hello, this is Eddie, and we are going to work with leases. The leases we're going to be working with today are leases that require at least a few payments in advance before the lease begins. The formula provided to us is from a website called tvmcalcs.com. That is T V M C A L C S dot com. Here is the formula to find the payment for leases that require advanced lease payments. On the numerator, you got the present value of the lease minus the residual value or the future value over 1 plus i to the power of n. The denominator is like this. 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus i to the power of negative the quantity n minus a all this over i plus a. i is your periodic interest rate, n is the number of payments usually months, and a is the number of payments required in advance. We're going to use a technique with your typical finance calculator to solve for payment. The first step we need to do is to clear the time value of money registers and if necessary store the number of payments per year in P slash Y. Normally this is going to be 12. Then we're going to use the time value of money calculations. You're going to store the residual value in FV. You're going to store the interest rate in I slash Y or I slash YR. Now, with calculators such as the Hewitt Packer 12C, you'll be using the periodic interest rate instead. You're going to store the amount of payments for the lease in N, and you're going to solve for present value, PV. The result is going to be negative, and we're going to use that negative result in step three. Step three, you're going to use the result from step two, and you're going to add the lease amount or the price, and then you're going to get the numerator, right? And then you're going to store that result in memory. Any memory register will do. The next step is to use another time value of money calculation. We're going to carry over the same values from the previous calculation. We're going to store negative 1 in payment. You're going to store the total amount of payments during the lease and subtract A or the number of advanced payments and store that in N. And then you're going to store 0 in FV, future value. And once again, you're going to solve for present value. Take the present value that you calculated from step four, add A to it, or the number of advanced payments, hit the equals key, then hit the reciprocal key and multiply that times whatever you have stored in step three, and then hit the equals key, and then you will get your monthly lease payment. Should you have a calculator that operates in reverse Polish notation, such as the Hewitt Packard 12C, you'll use this method. With the present value on the X stack, you're going to add the advanced number of payments, or, or, or A, hit the plus key, hit the reciprocal key, recall the contents of what you store from step three, and hit the multiply key. This is going to be your result, your monthly lease payment. Let's work through an example. You have the lease amount of $3,500, residual value of $1,000, the length of the lease is going to be 48 months, but the company is going to require three months of lease payments in advance using a finance rate at 9% a year. I'm going to demonstrate this problem using a Texas Instruments BA2 Plus but you can really use 
this technique with almost any finance calculator. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is clear the time value of money registers and I'm going to check the payments per year setting which should be 12 since we are dealing with monthly payments. That's good. And exit out of there. And then we're going to store the residual value in future value which is $1,000. We're going to store the annual rate which is 9 into I slash Y or for the Hewitt Packard calculators that would be the I slash Y R. And we're going to store the number of payments of the lease into N which is 48 and then we're going to solve for present value and I get negative 698.61 we're going to take that result and in step 3 add the price or the lease amount which is $3500 and I get a result of $2801 and 39 cents and I'm going to store this into memory I'm just going to pick memory zero it really doesn't matter which memory register you pick we just want that stored number stored going to step four we're not going to clear present value or any of the time value of money registers we're going to keep going we're going to enter negative one into payment the length of the lease, which is 48 months, subtract A, which is 3 in this case because the lease required 3 payments in advance, into N. So N is going to be 45. We're going to store 0 into future value. And we're going to compute once again present value. And I get a present value of 38.07. On to step 5. We're going to add A to that, which is th 3, 3 advanced payments. Hit the equals key. Then I get 41.07. Take the reciprocal. Multiply by recalling the memory register that we used in step 3, which is 28.01 and 39 cents. Hit equals. And that is going to be your lease payment per month. $68.28. Now, for the advanced lease payments in the beginning, you're going to pay this times the three months $204.61. So, for this particular lease, you're going to pay $204.61 in advance, and each month you're going to pay $68.20. Just to show you that this technique can be done on multiple calculators, I'm going to demonstrate this next example on a Hewitt Packard 10B2 Plus financial calculator. This next example is this. We have equipment valued at $28,000 at the time of closing, and it's expected to have a residual value of $5,000 at the end of 60 months. This equipment is going to be leased for 60 months on the condition that there are four advanced payments. And the financing is going to be 8%. Once again, we'll go through the steps. First thing we need to do is to clear all the time value of money registers. And we're going to go ahead and store 12 for monthly payments in the payment per year register. Okay. Step one is complete. The next step, we're going to store the residual value in future value, $5,000. We're going to store the rate in the I slash YR register, which is 8% interest rate. The length of the term is going to be 60 months. And we're going to solve for present value. And I get negative three thousand three hundred fifty six dollars and five cents on to step three we're going to add the price to that result which is twenty eight thousand dollars 
and again I'm going to use memory zero and we're going to store the amount of twenty four thousand six hundred forty three dollars and ninety five cents on this particular calculator I have to press orange shift then this key to store the amount into memory on to the next step we're going to type negative one into payment this lease is going to require four payments in advance so we're going to go 60 minus 4 and store 56 in N store 0 in future value um, the interest rate is maintained calculate the present value which is 46.61 we go to step 5 we'll add the number of payments in advance which is 4 hit the equal sign then I'm going to do the reciprocal which on this particular calculator is going to be the orange shift division key and hit the multiplication key recall memory zero hit the equals key and we get a lease payment of four hundred eighty six dollars and ninety seven cents so that's going to be the monthly lease payment your advance payment is going to be four times that or one thousand nine hundred forty seven dollars and eighty eight cents and that is how you deal with leases that require payments some payments in advance thank you very much i hope you find this video helpful